All right, y'all, we bike in the house. So I picked up some goodies. So I decided to go to World Market again. I might have already told y'all this. But I went into World Market. Um, what did I go in there for? Nothing. I was just, I don't know. Like I said, it has become one of my favorite stores to go into. And, oh, I know why I went there. Okay. So last night, I had a three-way conversation with my baby sister and my baby brother oh my gosh it was so fun it was so good oh and and, and my sister-in-law and so we were just chatting and you know everything was going really good and they kept talking about this this wine called winking owl I didn't really know what they were saying at first because I think something's going on with my phone. I don't know what the deal is, but they were like winking owl. And my brother and his wife were having sangria. And um, my sister, I think she was having a truly. And I think truly is like a hard seltzer or something like that. And I didn't have anything because I'd had a mimosa earlier in the day. I had like two or three. <laughs> so... <laughs> So I wasn't indulging and we talked probably like, when did they call me? They called me around 8.30, 9 o'clock, something like that. And we were on the phone for at least, I want to say a good hour and a half. But it was so much fun. You know, my baby sister and my little brother, it's so interesting to see them as adults. I've seen my sister as an adult for a while. But my brother's 19 years younger than me. He's going to be 30 this year. And I just told him, I said, I can't believe you're going to be 30. And he was like, I know, ain't that some shit? <laughs> and I was like, I mean, hey, the, the years keep moving by, right? You know? And so I was telling him, his wife actually watches my channel. Hey, Samantha. And um, I told her, I told them, well, my sister already knew this, I think, that my channel is moving in a different direction. I'm talking about middle-aged stuff. I was like, y'all aren't quite there yet, meaning my brother and his wife. But, I mean, if you want to continue to tune in, that's cool. So, it was a really good time. But back to what I was saying, the reason why I went to World Market is because they talked about this winking owl. They make wines. They make sangria. I guess they make some other stuff, too. And they told me that I could find some at Aldi. I've never been to Aldi, but I've heard like a lot of great things. There's like a lot of hype around Aldi. So I do plan on going one of these days. They have one here, but I went to World Market because they have such a huge selection of all kinds of wines and all kinds of stuff. So I was like, well, maybe they have that there, but they don't. So I'm gonna have to venture over to Aldi's. I'm excited. I'm gonna have to take y'all to Aldi's with me because I've never been. Is it Aldi's or Aldi? I don't know, one of them. So I haven't been to Aldi. So I'm gonna go there and I wanna go to Trader Joe's. I've never been to Trader Joe's. I've been to Sprouts, I've been to Whole Foods, but I've never been to Trader Joe's. So I'm kind of like, oh my gosh, I gotta put it, I have like a whole list in my notes thing on my phone of places that I wanna go to that they don't have in Alaska. So it'll be really cool to take y'all on like a field trip with me for that. Speaking of trips, um, I really wanna go back to Hawaii. I had a memory pop up on my screen today. You know how if you have an iPhone, they'll show you like a collection of different, uh, I guess they group together photos or something like that. So they brought up photos from that trip to Maui that I took. Um, and I was just looking at those pictures and I was like, oh man, that place is just so beautiful. It, it is paradise, right? They call it paradise for a reason. So I wanna go back there and I wanna go back to Thailand. And I wish I knew someone who not only will say they want to go, but they will actually go. Thought about asking Percy if he wanted to go, but he likes to go to Memphis and Portland. That's it. <laughs> so I'm just like, who can I get to go with me? Because most of the ladies that I know that I'm closest to are married, and I know their husbands are, either their husbands are not going to let them go, or they're not going to want to go without their husband. I'm just kind of like, can we just do a girl's trip? But anyway, um, yeah, Maui, Thailand, I 
I am going to Mexico for my birthday this year. Either my birthday, Kasha was kind of like, I want to go too. So if I don't go for my birthday, then we'll go for, um, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see because we're not doing it for spring break. I don't know. Maybe I'll go twice. Who knows? But yeah, those are the two places on my list. And y'all know if I say I want to go do something, I'm going to do it. Oh, and then I do have a trip to, I don't know how to do that. Uh, I have a trip to Morocco coming up. I'm super excited. And so um, next month, I'm really going to go hard on the workouts because I have a swimsuit that I want to wear. Y'all want to see it? Hold on. All right. And it's going to be a girls only trip. So it's totally cool. Right, what I'm about to show y'all. So, <laughs> I'm trying to show off, y'all. I'm trying to show off. Um, so this is the top, right? Can y'all see that? I hope y'all can see that. And it ties in the back. And then, Now listen, I may be completely delusional, but darlings, eventually I'm going to get into that thing. I am, and I don't care what anybody has to say about it, because it's going to get a picture on Instagram. Yeah. So here's the thing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to meet that goal, right? Um, but I do have some other swimsuits. And here's my thing. I know I'm about to be 50. I know that I've had a baby. I know I got some stretch marks. But you know what? I feel like if I work hard and I hit my goal of what I'm shooting for, if I feel comfortable in it, I'm going to wear it. I'm going to wear it. And y'all might get to see it. <laughs> All right, let me quit acting up. All right, so let's get into this haul because like I said, it was mostly like a beverage run. So since I could not find the Winking Owl, I picked up some other drinks, alcohol and non-alcohol because I'm trying to find a transition, a really nice transition beverage because more and more alcohol kind of demotivates me, um, but I do like the buzz. So I'm gonna have to like get away from that. But I feel like if I find a beverage that's, that I find really enjoyable, then it'll be easy to transition. And I don't drink alcohol every day or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, cutting back what little I do drink will probably be a good idea. All right, so let's get into the haul. Okay, y'all. So first up is this Black Girl Magic Bubbly Riesling. And I had heard about Black Girl Magic um, wine, but I have never tried it. And I don't know if I've ever seen it anywhere either. So I had to pick some up, had to support the Black Girl Magic. So I'm gonna give that a try. Don't know when, but. And then, I got, let me see. Okay, so I've had a French 75 and so many of the girlies are talking about French 75s. It's a really nice cocktail, very smooth. I enjoy it, I really do. And I was gonna get some ingredients to try and make some one night. Maybe when we have our happy hour, I'll go ahead and make a French 75. Um, but this is a sparkling wine cocktail, Pampelon. French 75. So I'm gonna give this a try. Again, I've never had it, so hopefully it's it's okay. Hopefully it's not bad. And then um, Stella Rosa watermelon, a low alcohol grape wine. What does that say? Special, especially with natural watermelon flavors. So I've never had this. But I like the fact that it said it was low alcohol. So, let me try that. Oh, okay. these are the same thing. Okay. So, let's 
so I picked up some more of these because like I said, I think I'm gonna have um, host a brunch here. Um, not sure when yet because I still want to get my house in order, but I'm getting the main areas situated and stuff. But yeah, I picked up some of those. And So this is a non-alcoholic drink. And my crazy behind, I'm sitting up here like, ooh, I wonder how would it be with a shot of vodka or a shot of gin. <laughs> but this is a uh, Bell Boar Farm Cucumber and Mint Lemonade. I've never had it, but it sounds like it would be really, really nice. Sparkling soft drink with real pressed cucumber juice, mint, and geranium. Ooh, I think I mentioned to y'all while I was in World Market that more and more it's like, for some reason I'm being drawn to like more botanical type flavors. It's interesting because I'm even wanting to switch my toothpaste away from the traditional mint flavoring to something like, um, I think I saw a eucalyptus one, I saw tea tree oil flavor, I saw um, turmeric flavor. It's just different types of flavors. I don't know. My body is changing. I'm not mad at it though. Yo, I am so excited for this one. Um, so this is the Chocolate Lover's Wine Chocolate Shop. And it's a red wine, but it has chocolate in it. And here's the thing. I'm not an extremely like chocolate kind of person. I used to love milk chocolate a lot, but I moved away from, from that and I'm more into the darker chocolates. But I was like, and plus it's a red wine. I'm not a huge wet red wine fan, but I wanna give that a try because I think that sounds like an interesting combination. I would prefer not to try it by myself because if I don't like it, I'm not gonna drink it like by myself, so. And then the Riesling, you know, you got to keep that stocked. Okay, so this next one is by Lorena Artisanal Sparkling Lavender. Y'all see that? Oh my gosh, I love lavender so much. I love the fragrance of lavender. So I can't wait to try this. Ooh. And I, and I like this thing too on the bottle. I think that's cool. Y'all, this right here. First of all, I love that it's pink. And then I love that it's um, strawberry and basil because I don't know if y'all know this, but basil, cilantro are my favorite herbs. Basil and cilantro are my favorite. So strawberry, basil, French soda. Um, I thought this was by the same company as this one, but maybe the bottles just look the same. Yeah, they're different. Who is this by? I don't even know. Anyway, I'm gonna drink it. So, strawberry basil. And y'all see what, I, I think that's, yeah, that's the last one. But y'all see what I mean where I was like, ooh, I bet if you put like a splash of vodka or, or gin in it, I bet that would like set it off. But you know what? That defeats the whole purpose, right? Of why I got it. So anyway, when I try them, I'm gonna do it on camera because I want y'all to try. I know there are some people who watch my channel who do not drink at all. So, um, you know, fast forward or something when I get ready to do that. I'll give you a warning. But um, yeah, the non-alcoholic ones though, I think they're gonna be pretty interesting. 
All right, so I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I'm gonna take out my chicken because I'm either gonna do a chicken in the Instant Pot and have that with some salad or I'm gonna, um, or I will make it like the Parmesan chicken like I did with the spirals. And then I've had some spaghetti squash in the freezer. I would never have picked up that package if I would have remembered that. But I have some spaghetti squash that's been in the freezer like ever since the last time. Remember I put I cut it in half and put the other half in the freezer? That's not how long it's been in it. So I, I probably need to go ahead and cook it. Um, so I might do that with the remaining pasta sauce. Oh, and then we might have a bread stick. Y'all listen, my cravings are kind of on 10, so you're gonna have to like just show me some grace. We're gonna get back on track after a few days. All right. <laughs> 